Uh, I'm Jérémy Keras. Uh, I was born in Paris in 1979, uh, 1997. <laughs> and yes, I moved to Germany when I was a, a child and um, I'm from a family of musicians. My parents are both cellists. And when I was 18, I moved to London to study at the Art Academy. My name is Heidi Sundvik. I was born in Finland and grew up in Finland, but um, for the past 31 years or so, I have lived in London, England. Before becoming an artist, I have a background in business and also in teaching, but I just absolutely fell in love with art. And for the past four years, I've been studying fine art. The new project here is this large scale painting, which I've been working on in combination with lots of smaller works. I took my inspiration from the surroundings, from the ancient town of Zhuzhazhao, very beautiful ancient town. We had a look at the Garden of Hearts, which was in a very beautiful old temple, and that's where I, I take the colors from. And I started using Chinese ink and Chinese paper, which was a, something new for me. I usually only worked in oil paintings on canvas, and uh, now I've, I've started using more water-based paints which are more resemblant to the ink in the quality and the texture. I've started using this kind of water flow quality in my paintings. For me, Chinese ink represents a really, really old culture. I was just uh, fascinated by the idea that I could create something very, very modern with very old materials. And that's also why I used the old uh, paper scroll, which I found in a Chinese art shop. The project is mainly about what I, as a European, have encountered here. And also a painting that shows the amazing opportunity I had, because I've never worked in a studio of this size, with this much space. And uh, yeah, I think I made very small work and very big work. That just shows to me that I was fascinated by this contrast of the very modern, extremely modern society and the really old history and the really old buildings. I'm loving working here. It's a bit, little bit difficult to say what the project is about because there are so many different new influences. So I think the project is something about finding something new, seeking something new and then trying to put it into my own language, which really is geometric abstraction as normally, I like to paint on MDF. I like MDF because, MDF because I can cut it in dif into different shapes and I can arrange it. So I use MDF, pieces of wood and acrylic paints. We have a lovely studio here, but some of the tools are a bit different. Everything is a little bit different. So I kind of had to abandon the idea that I would do things as I normally do them and think, well, we are in China, we are in Shanghai, let's do it differently. Why should I do the same thing? <laughs> I've been so drawn to the different patterns in doorways and windows and railings and everything. One of the first days when we came here, we spent almost the whole day in the, in the old village. And I was just sketching, taking photos, but again, I'm drawn to patterns. When we got home, I started to analyze the shapes and I was especially drawn to an abstract pattern which was in the old town, which actually this work, which I'm doing at the moment, that's based on a pattern and yet it's very, very old. I want to create something that would represent hope somewhere, that there's something more. You can do things differently and occupy a space with the 3D elements that normally is not there. When I think about personal human experiences, and, but I'm trying to show it with my art. So the food is a very interesting topic actually because it took us a while to get used to what we can eat and what not, or what we like and what not. We've discovered a lot of very local places which are really nice and really cheap places. Uh, where you can just choose uh, food from the fridge and they will grill it for you. And that's something that you don't find in Europe and I love that. To be honest, you know, I've been so happy here <laughs> that I haven't been had time to think about what I miss them, but I'd like to talk to them. <laughs> Evening walks, that was really inspiring and I 
usually have a bubble tea. Because Heidi and I, we've uh, spent all the time together. Uh, we've had very uh, in-depth conversations, very philosophical conversations. And obviously we knew each other quite well from before we came here. So absolutely happy to be here with Jeremy, despite the fact that everyone thinks I'm his mum. Ha, ha, ha.